up, what up, what up, tube? What do we have here? Would you look at this here? Lookity, lookity, lookity here. If you look at the thumbnail, I found this pic in this group that I'm in on Facebook. And I'm not sure if you can zoom in enough to, to see this conversation, but apparently this young lady is married. She's currently, seems like she's currently here in the United States. But that's not the most interesting thing about this interaction. She's married, she's here in the United States. Her husband is in Ukraine, currently engaged in the war. He's a soldier, he's fighting in the war. And whether, whether he's actually in the service or he's part of the population who, who are also fighting in the war, a lot of volunteers are doing that. Either way it goes, how you chop it up, he's over there fighting in the war. Meanwhile, this cane toad, this broad, she decides to get on like one of these dating sites. What is it, Tinder or something? One of these dating sites. The guy's talking to her, he asks her where she's from and this and that. And she tells them she doesn't want to go back to the Ukraine. She's married and she doesn't love her husband anymore. I'm pretty sure it's safe to say he has no idea. And it's probably it's probably best that he doesn't because he's over there fighting for his life right now. And something like this, you don't need a distraction like this to... No, that would, that's the last thing you need. But in these little, this back and forth interaction, the guy asks her, what are you looking for? Are you looking for friends? What are you, what are you looking for? Are you looking to be friends? She replies, yes, I'm looking to be friends. And then, basically, she says she, she's looking for friends, plural, she threw that, she threw that S on there, and then she starts going into how she's married and she doesn't want to be with her husband anymore. And this goes on a lot, fellas, this goes on a lot. This is why I, I don't remember exactly who coined the phrase, but they was right on point when they said, hey, she's not sure, it's, it's just your turn. And that's that's the mentality, guys. That's, that's what we need to have from this point forward going on. It don't matter how good she look, what she looks like, oh, she's so beautiful, she's this, she's that. First of all, stop that. Stop that. She got blood coursing in her veins like you got blood coursing in your veins. It's not that big a deal. You got her, you can get somebody else to look better, to treat you better. There's no, there's no such thing as a unicorn when it comes to dealing with these women. So let's, let's, let's stop that. Stop that. It's, it's alright if you want to give a compliment, whatever, whatever. And then dead it, leave it at that. Don't be drooling all over any any woman because that's not going to turn out good for you anyway and you see how they treat you in certain situations when they get a chance to I mean she didn't even have a common decency to I mean obviously she can't do it now but like I wonder how long this has been going on because a lot of women they 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 drag things on just long enough 
for them to find somebody else. Then they just slide over to that person, like go out on a few dates or whatever. Oh, he seems cool. Oh, okay, let me try. Now all of a sudden, she come back to you like, you know what, I ain't, I'm not happy. I haven't been happy for a long time, blah, blah. You know the whole script they read from. They all read from the same script. You know how you know that they all read from the same script? Because I guarantee you, if she, if she used to break with you, all right, I ain't been happy for a while, this and that, we should break up and boom, boom. You'd be like, all right. And she go over there and start kicking with dude, and he be like, you know, I ain't trying to settle down, so you know, I really don't know why you broke up with dude. I'm just trying to have fun, this and that, and that's it. I don't want no more than that. Peep the scenario. As soon as he says that, when she broke up with you, you was like, all right, cool, and you stop talking to her, stop reaching out to all that shit. Out of the blue, she gonna reach back to you. You know, I've been thinking about those lately, and the reason why it is, is you know, the the whole hey, hey, what you doing? You know the bullshit they try to come with. And it'll be the same way with this lady and shit. How ungrateful can you be? This man might not even, and she. Probably wouldn't even bat an eye and shit if he was, if something was to happen to him over there. She wouldn't care. She she already trying to get out the door. And that's how a lot of these cane toes be. On the slithering, shedding the skin like a reptile type shit. That's why, fellas, I'll tell you right now, it is better if you're gonna have an addiction, make it to be, to, to make it money, working, going through, following through with your goals, your plans, learning different things that'll make those plans happen more, either faster or make sure you're more accurate as far as your target points. And every day try to learn something new and start and implement it, implement what you learn. Trial and error. Oh, this didn't work? All right, let me try something else. And use that energy to concentrate on that type of stuff instead of chasing one and around. Because you get you get your money, they're going to find you. You ain't even got to put no effort in. I mean, y'all know what I mean about putting effort. You, you, obviously, you're going to have to put out some, but you ain't going to have to never chase them. They'll chase you and find you, and then at that point, you decide, okay, is she going to get down with my program? Yes, no. Yes, okay. I'm going to let you fly with me a little bit, see what happens. Or if the answer is no, then it's an easy dismissal. Like, move to the side. You know, you're in the way. You're blocking the line. You're blocking the line. But that's why we gotta think like that, because you got women like this. Even when you're married, it could be your fiance. This is, this is what they doing, fellas. They on what's that shit? Uh, they on Tinder. They on Bumble. What's the, the other one? Is uh, I don't know, POF or Match and all these other dating sites and stuff. They 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 on there. And they doing the same thing when you ain't looking. Claiming, oh, I don't love him no more, this and that. That's 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 their version of spitting game, I guess. And if it's a seasoned guy that's on the other end, he rolling his eyes in the back of his head, like, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. How long before you doing that to me? And that's how we gotta look at every situation, fellas. This Kane told right here, she can't even wait. To move on. I mean, she plotting and planning already. She don't even know if her man is still alive right now. Because I don't think they have any real forms of communication right now from over there. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think they're able to communicate with their loved ones. Especially she over here in the States. I don't think we can call back and forth over there while that's going on. I'm just... 
or, you know, I'm not familiar. I mean, correct me in the comment section if, you know, if they're able to do that. Because I, I, I really don't know. But I don't think they're able to communicate with each other. So she's already uh, one foot out the door. I would say one foot out the door, but it looks like she already outside the door. She closing the door behind her already. But yo, that's what happens when you're dealing with these cane toads. They poison us one way or another. So that being said, I'm out. And like I always say, don't choke on woke. And for God's sake, fellas, leave these cane toads alone. It's the difference between a woman, a virtuous one, and a cane toad. They're not the same, as you can plainly see. All right, later.